Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here, and in this video I'll be using the Geekbench 2 application to give you guys a good idea of how well my Hackintosh system performs when compared to a genuine Apple iMac or Mac Pro computer. So I'll be running the 64-bit version of this benchmark test, and I'll go ahead and start that now. Uh, if you guys missed my second video where I compared, or where I went over the specs of my system, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of that again. Uh, it's got an Intel i7-3770K CPU, and that's been overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz. It's got 16 gigabytes of core RAM. For my GPU, I'm using a GeForce GTX 680 2GB card from Galaxy. And then for my boot drive, I've got a SanDisk 240GB SSD that's been partitioned in half. So 120 gigabytes is going towards the mountain line, and then the other half goes to Windows 8. And then last but not least, I've also got a one terabyte hard drive, and that I just use for documents in media. So the score I got with this benchmark test was 16,779. This is actually one of the higher scores that I've gotten uh, for my system. Typically, I'm usually uh, in the 16,500 range, so this is a little bit higher than that, and uh, the score does tend to fluctuate depending on each test. So let me go ahead and upload the score so we can compare this then to the max that Apple sells. We'll select the Mac benchmark chart and then we'll go ahead and select the 64-bit benchmark tab and you can see with my score of 16,779 I am above the Mac Pro early 2009 model which was an 8-core system. Uh, the Mac Pro at this point definitely a dated machine and it's due for a refresh this year so you should see these Mac Pro scores significantly increase when that happens. Now comparing my system to the iMac uh, late 2012 27-inch model with the uh, i7-3770 uh, on the inside, you can see my machine is definitely uh, performing uh, much better than that. And I think one of the big reasons of those performance differences right there is just for the fact that my CPU is overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz. It's definitely going to lead to some better performance over uh, what you're stuck at with the 3.9 turbo boost speed of the 3770 on the iMac. Uh, so it does have a base clock of 3.5 and then it'll jump up to 3.9, whereas mine will jump up then to 4.3. Um, one thing also I wanted to take note of, of the score right here is 13,970. Uh, from the reviews that I've read and some, some of the videos that I've seen online, the highest score I've usually seen for this machine is about 14,200, and that system has been configured with the i7 CPU, the 680 graphics, and then about 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM. The next thing I wanted to show you guys then was my profile here where I've kept uh, a log basically of all the benchmarks that I've run uh, for this Hackintosh system. And if I short, sort this by score, excuse me, you can see the lowest score I've actually gotten was 15,923. So there's definitely a big difference to the score that I got today. This is actually the highest score I've ever gotten. But you'll see here, typically I'm in the 16,500 range. The other thing I wanted to show you guys then uh, was the system name right here. So um, you'll see it fluctuates between iMac 12.2 as well as Mac Pro 5.1. Now when you're creating a Hackintosh you can choose which system definition you want to install and basically you want to install the one that's going to give you the best performance as well as the best stability. So what I found was with the Mac Pro and the iMac 12.2 profiles I was getting the best performance however I was getting better stability when I used the Mac Pro one so that's why I've been using that for the most part with these latest tests. Now the reason my uh, benchmark you know started off so low and then gradually got higher was a uh, you know with the initial score that I had there my system wasn't overclocked and also you know uh, I started to install some of the drivers and things like that which definitely optimized my system for better performance which is leading me to the scores that I've gotten today so thanks for taking the time to watch this video let me know what you guys think about my Hackintosh score in a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video